Well, remember last week, Chris, he uh, struggled through the first match, then bowled a very poor second game. And granted that the lanes are very tough, but I think that if you keep the same feel on a bowling ball, that uh, maybe you have a little better control of it. But then again, he's down there in bowling as well as anybody in the country right now. So you have to go with whatever makes you feel best. Wayne Webb, first shot. The green machine. The green machine is right. He's switching balls for spares, too. And what they do is they take a lower surface friction ball that won't bite the lane or hook quite as much. They use it for spares in order to just capitalize on the accuracy. You don't want much hook for spares. Just throw straight at the, the pin that's remaining. The man with a short approach and very little backswing as he hangs the ball at the start, Wayne Webb. Webb with that familiar style, five-step delivery, very short. Look at his eyes, looking at his spot. Shoulder high backswing, and then just energizes so hard. Now look at his pivot step. See him drive through with that right foot. Good knee bend, snaps that head through. Tremendous wrist action. One of the best releases ever to come down the pipe in the game of bowling. I hit. to the deck, the 4-7, and Wayne cannot believe it. The rules of the sport benefited Wayne Webb that time. It, you need at least, by rules, four seconds from the time the ball hits the head pin till the, the end of the pin action. He takes all four seconds, gets a braid break. So Steve puts a little pressure on. We asked uh, Steve about what he learned last week. Last week we had a little trouble with the oil carry down, and it seemed to get worse as the games went on. I squeaked through the first one, but had more trouble in the second game. Uh, if that should happen again, I'll continue to just try to find something and make it work. The scores will probably be low, and I'll do the best I can. So from his championship round experience of last week, Steve has learned, continues to learn. He's only 26 years old, six years on the tour. And he is from the great bowling center of St. Louis. Look out now, Chris. I'll yes. tell you, those last two shots were very definitive shots. He threw them with a lot of confidence. He was solid in the pocket. He played the lanes very well. I think he can put a lot of pressure on Wayne Webb right here. Wayne has a strike up, shooting in the third. Tell us a little bit more about a bowling pin. Well, Chris, here it's a profile of a pin. You see the height is 15 inches. The neck width uh, diameter is a, an inch and an eighth right here, four and an eighth there. You see these two voids, one right here, one right here. That is to get the pin down to this three pound, six ounce weight. The center of gravity has to be about five and a half inches above the uh, base right here. And that little area you see right there is to hang the pin to clean it up. So that's the bowling pin cutaway we have today. That's laminated maple. Dreamhager and making this second match a beauty between Wayne Webb and non-winner Steve Wonderlake. And how do some of the professional bowlers travel from tour event to tour event? All kinds of motor vehicles, fifth wheelers. This is one of them, Steve Wonderlake. And what was all that green on the ground outside there, Chris? That wasn't snow, oh, was it? <laughs> it's so difficult to be here this week. A little over 70 degrees, not a cloud in the sky here in Venice, Florida. On Florida's sun coast, it's called the West Coast. And a little late pin action takes out the 10, leaving only the 6. And a head shake from Steve Wonderlich. 240 started here. That 56-game format for the United States Open now we're down to four. One eliminated today was Alan Granite. Good spare. Granite losing to Wonderlick, at whom you're looking. 202 to 193. And a big shot this man made was converting the 4 7 9. Oh, that was beautiful. Was the important the, shot. Was the difference in the first match. And right now for Wonderlick, the key for him to 
keep close to Wayne Webb is just keep hitting this left-hand lane. He hasn't had much trouble with the left-hand lane this week, and he didn't have much trouble with it last week. He's trouble, had trouble with the right-hand lane. Here's Steve, Cindy Wunderlich. She's concentrating, saying, come on, Steve, let's have some strikes. Little ESP did the job. There she is applauding that shot. Mm. U.S. Open winner will be determined today. Here are the winners of our first five stops. You see Albie winning the first, then Steve D. Martin, Pete Weber winning his first of two, and our statistician today, two weeks ago, Mike Durbin winning 27,000. Ah, yes. The green machine, and he says he's changing to the mean machine. He says he's getting a little tougher on the lanes. Oh, there he is, putting it into the pocket. We asked him how he's improved his game, particularly his spare shooting. Well, when I first came out, I used to be a power player and hooked the ball a lot, and I did the same thing at my spares, and I would miss a few now and then. Through the past years, I've learned to go a lot straighter at my spares and still throw the power ball on the first shot. So it's just uh, going a lot straighter and being more accurate on my spares. The best of both worlds and definitely one of the top players in the game today. Of course, the way he's bowling now, Chris, he doesn't leave anything up to miss. No. Wayne Webb, who wasn't um, quite that happy when I told him about the temperature in his home in Indianapolis, six below zero. Five strikes in a row. Here's the shot of Wayne Webb, who's turning red hot. Last year, Wayne Webb won two titles, both from the number three position. He won Anaheim and Dublin. They're now the ninth frame, leading by 41 pins. Yeah. Look at the eighth frame as he leaves that middle pin, the five, here in our second match. The winner of the first game, Steve Wunderlich, is Webb's opponent. Wayne Webb playing that deep inside line, Chris. Uh, you're not going to see the big swishing pin action that we often see when they play that outside line. He can get a very good angle attack at the one, three, and five pins. Right now, Wayne Webb going at a 238 pace. Wunderlich has a possibility of, of a 238, but he has to get some strikes together. Wayne Webb, you saw, is over the half million mark in money earned uh, bowling. He's in 11th position of all the PBA uh, professionals that have toured and succeeded. And Wunderlich, in a six-year career, 160,000. This year, 10,140. I hit the three pen for Wunderlich. Just all sorts of problems on the right-hand lane as the ball cuts right through the heart. You see the up close to the pins. Wunderlich drives right through the one, two, and three zone. Three pin left standing, an easy spare, but Wunderlich's in real trouble now. He has to convert this and strike out to have a 218 to keep any kind of pressure on Wayne Webb. Steve Wunderlich. This is the Bowling Proprietors United States Open organization in its 53rd year. 4,260 members. 93,700 lanes within that membership. And Bo, one time you were a proprietor. A few years back, uh, my father was the man who put it all together for the Burton family. Steve Wunderlich, possible 218, must strike here in the ninth. get the needed break. Look at that 10 pin wobbling. We showed you that cutaway of the pins as we look at Cindy Wunderlich. A pin must fall when it's tilted nine degrees off its axis. That didn't quite reach the nine degree point. So Steve Wunderlich having his problems after a shaky first match victory 202 to 193. Here Wayne Webb who strung five then two spares, now in the ninth frame. Wayne makes it look so easy and so simple, not complicated. Wayne in the driver's seats, Chris. And we were talking about the sponsors of this tournament, but the proceeds from this tournament are being donated to the United Cerebral Palsy of Sarasota, Chris, and a good friend of ours, Leonard Goldenson, is the chairman of that board, the National UCP. I'm sure he's watching, and thanks to him, a great organization is benefiting. 
He is a working chairman, I might add. And Wayne Webb now moves in against Dennis Jakes in our third match. 226 to 197 over Steve Wunderlich, who had won the first match, 202 to 193. Okay, 